Hello everyone, this is Ben again from Paintballers World Singapore. Today we just want to uh, introduce to you the new Virtual Spire tree uh, that I have it right here in front of me. Um, the Spire tree is a new loader. It has a total capacity of 230 paints. So as compared to the previous version where you can only fit 200 paints or with an extended top load that gives you 260 paints, this Spire tree allows 230 paints, which is sets it right between the 200 and the 260. Okay, so I'm going to run you through the Spire tree, uh, and uh, there are certain features about the new Spire tree that is uh, really unique to the players, and uh, later I'll show you how. Okay, first and foremost, let me first show you the uh, the lid. Okay, the rain lid can be easily removed by pressing the knob over here. It comes off easily. So if you want to change to a speed feed, you can in a later version. There will be a speed feed that will come along with the aspire tree, which you can use as well. Okay. So the other unique feature about the spire tree is the uh, the button that allows you to open up the uh, spire tree. So I'm going to depress this button, and you can see the spire tree actually opens up. Uh, I, if you have seen my previous video, I've mentioned that this is almost like a crocodile jaw. Okay, so they have added a hinge onto the front of the loader. Now, um, the reason why Virtual decided to add a hinge is so that when a player is playing in a game and they want to clear some of the paintballs that are stuck in the spire tree, they can do so without using two hands, where one will be holding on to the lid and the other one holding on to the marker. So you can still hold on to the marker, but at the same time, overturn the paints and clear the whole entire loader if you have paints that are stuck into the loader. So this basically frees free up your left hand and you can actually uh, remove the paints by using your hands. Okay, so it's very straightforward. Now something that's unique to the Spire tree is uh, the RAM. If you have been using a Spire tree in a previous version, you need to actually buy a separate RAM. Now, um, the new Spire tree has got a RAM that is already that comes together with the whole entire setup. Okay, the, sp the, the RAM is actually also a sensor. Um, in a short while, I will do a quick demo, but what simply it does is that when you have paints that are poured into the Spire tree, the RAM gets depressed. Okay, and uh, as you are shooting the paints and it gets lesser, the RAM actually flips up because there are lesser pressure on the RAM and uh, the RAM will then flips up. Now, with the flipping up of the RAM, it basically activates the sensor to tell you to reload the paints, okay? So let me just turn on the, the Spire tree to show you this demo. Okay, so this is the start button. Okay, as you can see, it's already spinning. Um, as per the usual uh, Spire that was, that was formerly from the past, uh, it acts on a G sensor, which means when every time you hit the loader, or as you fire, fire the, the, the rubber, we call this the rubber ram, will actually spin, all right? So every time you hit it, every time you fire, it spins faster. So now, just imagine that the ram is uh, depressed because there are more, more balls in the loader. Okay, as you can see over here, there's an LED light indicator. It shows blue color, which means that uh, you actually have balls in the spire tree. I'm going to flip the ram up to show that there are actually lesser balls now in the in the loader. You can see that immediately it shows you a red color LED and if you can notice you can actually hear a beep sound as well. So let me do this again. So I de I'm depressing the loader, it shows blue which means I've load the, loaded the loader and now you have lesser paints after shooting a couple of paints. See it turns red and you can hear a beep sound as well. So this basically tells you when to load and when not to load. Okay, so this is a new feature by the Spire tree. The other exciting uh, feature about the Spire tree is what we know as the, uh, I call this the spinner, which is a rubber attachment here. And this rubber attachment can be removed easily. So many times you have played a few, few games and this rubber attachment wears out very fast. Uh, so this, can be now removed so you don't have to replace the whole entire setup and uh, you notice that the spinner has got this uh, magnetic uh, touch here which means that when you are putting in 
the spinner into the uh, rotor, it actually clicks on because of the magnet. Okay, so what this literally means is that it's easy for you to clean the loader. If I want to clean the loader, all I need to do is take this out and I can use a tissue, I can give it a good clean and wipe if there are any broken pins. And once I'm good to go, I can actually put this back in easily. Okay. The uh, other feature about this uh, Spire tree is the reverse button. So if you have been using the old Spire, you, re you realize that the back plate once in a while will give way. It will crack over, over uh, wear and tear. Uh, however, this time with the Spire tree, they have taken away the back plate. So no longer you have a broken back plate and you cannot continue the game. Um, they have actually included the uh, reverse button to be at the bottom. Now, if you have a big, you're a big fan of Spire, you'll realize that you actually don't really need to use the reverse button at all. Okay, so they have placed a button at the bottom. So let me just turn this on and just to give you an overview of how this thing actually works. Okay, so it's turning. And when I press the uh, bottom at the bottom, which is the reverse button, it actually spins the spinner faster. Can you hear that? Every time I press, it's actually spinning faster. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. Okay, the Spire tree is going to retail at $299. Dollars and ninety cent, and this is only for the uh, stock version Spire Tree, okay. And of course, if you want to have uh, some design, you want a different uh, graphic, there are, which comes in blue, red. You you actually top up a little bit more for the uh, for the color scheme, okay. If not, the Spire Tree.